It does look like a pretty good invoker game. You need to get these level sixes on Galaxy Racer. That's where the pools are going to come into play. If the lanes go well through the group stages, like no one even having a, a try lane for like the first minute maybe to get a kill. Well, as soon as I say that, it's just going to evaporate. But <laughs> that is still holding its point that I've not been seeing many uh, tries mid one. Is he actually just dead? The double stun combo. Yo, <laughs> yeah. That is a lot of damage that he was not expecting. Really seen too much mid? He, uh, doing a lot of damage on Alacrity. He's got another round of the Lightning Storm up pretty soon. Alacrity runs in the little nook here, but it's going to make it really easy for Nia to get the connection of that split earth. If it gets him low, makes him spend more regen, good. At the very worst, you would be, uh, Yokem might be dead here. Never mind. Uses the fairy fire to be able to live, so that purifying flames is just going to heal him on back up. Yeah, at the very least, uh, what that style would have done for KP is that it would have, you know, made In Your Dream miss out on a couple of last hits just when he's trying to deal with it. A <laughs> Mizu's got a bottle. Just constant aggression coming through. I don't think they'll be able to get the kill onto Roji. Surely not. Uh, pop your wand for your st stun. They're going to dive. Cost him his life here, but at least Troll doesn't get any of the experience. But you see how this lane's going for them. I mean, mid one still got 27 last hits. Has cost him two death sowers, but lane Polo gets the cold feet proc, so KP's not going to be able to continue with the poison attacks, but Afu closes the distance. That impale is, is all they need. Cold feet's back up once again, and with the proc coming through, thanks to the Ray Fire Blast connection, but in your dream, might have to mango TP out. So he's got nowhere to run. Slowed down 280 movement speed. He will end up losing his life here. Able to get these turnaround kills, KP. I mean, you just see the strength that KP has when he gets his uh, few points in the poison attack. You know, you can't run away. You've gone these builds that don't yet have the boots on uh, the Wraith King, so you're very easily able to be kited around. He's eventually got the phase boots, but it wasn't enough. Again, mid, mid one. Oh, no. He's going to lose his life and Roji will one. fall, yeah. This offlane is just causing so much chaos right now for SMG. Something we did bring up though is that the levels and the importance of that. Like Ancient Apparition's already six. The Lion is about to hit six as well, especially after the kill on Roji. So you're now going to have a lot of opportunities to find these quick burst pickoffs across the map. And that could really cause chaos for SMG because we've already seen what can happen in the lane you know, against the, against the Troll Warlord, who's died three times. And now, you know, Oracle... Like, you don't really want to position this early mid lane. Yeah. Ice Blast. Yeah, they find Nia in the tree line. It was trying to juke around and, and play with that Edict little nook there, but he's going to get brought down. It does cost Mizu his life. But I'd say you're pretty happy with getting the kill on the Lesh and also finding our food. Be the ones kind of defending the map. And... You know, dire... He's kind of low on mana. He doesn't have enough to be able to cast the battle trance. With a few spells, he should. Oh, the that's a long-range but... stun. Roger needs to get involved. Hex, great use of the stun lock from Yokam. Will prevent the false promise from keeping mid one potentially alive. Good amount of kill involvements, and that's without being I an mean, exhort invoking. You've got a lion that's four zero and seven this game. <laughs> that's how well Yokam is playing so far. Mid one. Not again. He's actually trying to man fight. Mizu's got an illusion rune though, so gets out of the rune and mid one's committed oh, way no. too deep. Here comes the support rotations and mid one. That's your fifth death of the game. SMG, he they're going to try in. and swing on over. They got to back up in the supports. Yokem will just sacrifice his life. It's a bit of a streak that's going to get claimed. They might get Mizu as well. Nice sidestep, purifying flame. Going to go on the tree line. Mizu back oh. to safety. And they're going to be careful oh, wow. how deep they dive. Mizu's no. going to try and look to turn Alacrity for the TP. And KP's even going to look to show up as well. But oh, oh, a man. four man tornado from Alacrity burns all the men up. They just can't dive deep under the T2 tower like that. They'll finally get the kill on Nia. As In Your Dreams going to chase the rest of SMG away from their side of the map. Get away from my objectives. Get away from my team. Have two Midas's then a Wraith King trying to farm up a Radiance. That's uh, it's quick tempo Dota. 
I don't know how I feel about him going to the Ag Scepter either. Um, he had enough money for the Boots of Travel, I believe, at one point. We talk about potential near here. On the bottom side, he's got Mizu connecting through to him as well, and this should probably be a dead lash. Well, just Sneer's been doing whatever he can to really push these side lanes out and put a little bit of attention away from the Troll Warlord. And this is now Radiance as well for In Your Dream. They've caught out another. Or squash the bug. Make sure they guarantee that kill with a finger of death. Mid one's gonna show up, but like, you don't wanna show up. You got Battle Fury. You want to be farming. Whereas in your dream with Radiance, he's happy to fly. No. Ice Blast, Roger needs to get in position for the ultimate, but he used it as soon as the Ice Blast got connected. So the timing might not be on point here. The supports, they were trying to bait Polo with a little bit there with the use of the Ghost Walk. And they're gonna find KP. He's gonna go underneath the Cold Feet. They'll take the Oracle though, that's just as good. Get rid of all that sustain. They haven't killed him off just yet. And they've gone a little bit deep. Invoker on the front line is not what you want here, but the extra stuns and damage... Lesh doesn't use any ability. ...is incredibly lacking right now from SMG. Neo getting control of the high ground. KP will lose his life as well. But now they'll turn their attention to mid one with the Ghost Ward drop. Meatball on the ground as well. Yo-Camp, great blink on forward. It's going to be able to set off for the Sun Strike. The damage is not enough. So mid one's able to get back to safety here. But mid one's still not in fighting shape right now. He's actually going for Sunj and Yasha. But jump Oracle. on Roji first. Jesus. Dyer's Obliterated is the Oracle. There's the vessel. Now they're going to jump the back as well. KP will lose his life. And meanwhile, a perfect simultaneous jump from Yorkan means they'll control the Nyx Assassin. Ice Blast is launching. I think it's on point as well. He's played a bit of Space Invaders in his time. Oh, just a little. I don't think it's going to matter though. You got these two rotations. That'll be plenty of damage. Well, they don't have finger. Ain't the case. You'll set up Sunstrike. What? Invoker player knows his timings on the Yule Sunstrike. How I feel about Alacrity's playstyle so far with this new Galaxy Racer. Afu? That is a very interesting position. Maybe he's looking at bait because a lot of Galaxy Racer heroes did show top. And they got the numbers advantage at the moment. Ice Bar's going to fly. They have the outpost control, Wraith King. He's the only one with TP that can join them, so it looks like they might just have to leave Mizu. But with the Battle Trance, extra attack speed damage, it's enough. Mid one, we'll be able to find a four times killing streak. Mizu as well, he's reached that coveted level 15. Just trying to bait out a few reactions there, cancelling his reality risk. There you go. Three lives to work with now for In Your Dream. They're also going to be able to catch out KP. Spirit Vessel, Ice Blast. It's gonna walk away. Bye bye Viper. And Yorkham's also trying to get set up for a pickoff potentially. And moving down, Alacrity. Very far on the front line, Tornado's gonna try and disrupt the start here from SMG. So get on top of Polison. Ice Blast still gonna fly, but Neo, even though he's protected with the BKB, the physical right click's coming through. It's too much for him to handle. Now they're gonna look to turn. Controlling up the back line, mid one, he's still got Roger nearby just in case he needs to try and drop the ultimate here, but now with the ultimate, Cataclysm's gonna fly. Troll, using that battle chance, moving on four, but it's completely kited. The disarms are coming out. They've got him dead to rights, and they're also gonna be able to catch out too. What an earth Double spike from Yokam. Again. There's just nothing that it feels like the SMG are able to do in this game. They're getting completely outplayed. It's a triple for in your dream. You're down 13,000 gold. Like there's not many ways you can really push back and maybe oh, get no, this game to a, an even stage. I was about to say, your carry is one seven and zero. It's probably gonna be worse soon. Mid one's just gonna get caught out. Nia will try and protect him. Battle Trance still available here for mid one. Four staff, try and get the Invoker out of harm's way. The Psalm will come through as well, thanks to the Deafening Blast. And now with the Blink Forward, Yorkham, great Earth Spike Slum. Once again, a multi-hero from him. The backline from Galaxy Racer just will tear apart the supports so they cannot protect the Leshrac and the Troll. Gotta be a bit of a worry. Even turning off the Radiance there was in your dream. Turns it back on to engage on onto KP and they already burst down the left back. This one's over. Yeah, they just drop it. You have to. When it's looking this grim, you gotta call it quits and you know, don't lose that mental aspect of it. You know, if you, you stay in a little bit too long, you can really drain your dry here in it. Welcome back to game two here between the boys on Galaxy Racer and Team SMG. As he gets the tail off, one. Talk about not needing much, that level two with the spin. Well, they oh, the stroke. The stroke, I think the Blade Fury is going to be nothing. Yeah, it is. In the, the other lanes. Oh, 
Speaking about them, top mid one. The Fury just expires. And they use that Inkswell really, really late. So now Radiant have their abilities up to battle, knowing that Dyer's are on cooldown and, and they're going to look to punish because Rodji will get caught out. Simultaneously across the map, we're going to see In Your Dream falling to Afu, who's also even looking for another cute kill on Polo. I think he needs the boots now yeah. at this point. <laughs> you know, you're starting to build up the levels there on mid one. Uh, two points in the Inkswell as well. Very big spike in damage as well as the stun duration from that. Oh, uh, In Your Dream! He made a big mistake there. He teeped it away from the rupture, but his TP back to the T1 tower was in such close proximity that he still took damage from it. So KP oh, chases no. him down and Polo gets killed too. Things going well for SMG. Channel point betters in shambles. <laughs> Yo, Cam, he's been able to get another good lockdown that might have overlapped the uh, silence a little bit there. The dream call be enough to take him down. No, no way he survives. Oh, oh we did that. Natural step. So they lose Nia, they're going to lose Roggi as well. Great plays from Yo, Cam and Co. Showing so far the inability to kind of lock Galaxy Racer in place. And they're still grouping up. I love this from Radiant. Yeah, Mizu's got Ravage. Phoenix is very close to the six. They're not going to have it just yet. He's shy 13 experience for the Supernova. A great silence on three. Thanks to the Blood Rite. They're looking to chase on forward. Mizu's incredibly tanky. Now with the Sunray heal as well. Mizu turns back around. We'll slow him down. Can they bring him through with the pure damage? Blood Rite just off the mark, but it looks like Nia. He's got the damage to come you through thanks to the Astral Step. Yeah, rare poor positioning coming there from Yokem. They're gonna try and make a play here onto the puck. Using their supernova as well, getting the lockdown onto Arfu to make sure he's not able to burst it down in quick enough time. He got the observer board instead of the uh the supernova. I don't know if he meant to click it. Matter of where we just saw them flying around and picking up crap in the Roche pit and giving vision as Neo. Supernova back up, ready to roll here. Arfu's going to try and move on to deal with the egg, but Mizu, great protection with the Ravage. Allows Polison's ultimate get popped here, and they're still going to try and take the fight, but the Omni Slash mid one's ripping them apart. He gets a couple lucky crits with the Maelstrom proc too. Polo TP up, one more swipe, not enough. Mid one, a little bit too late on that. Caught out with, uh, you know, not amazing survivability. Ravage onto the Tide Hunter. He's going to get up onto the high ground on the enemy side. Of these. That jump is two. really far away from the Tide. It's going to cost them here. Miss Execution paying drastic here in this team fight. They switch up the Ravage oh. along with Eclipse. Double Earth Spike Radiant. They're going to look to turn it around, but now mid one's showing up. So Galax Racing, they're going to get back to safety. And the attacks on the Supernova. Yeah. Who was that like yeah. a, a farming tower That was attack. using the team fight in a dream. TP, Remnant. It's gonna cancel the TP, Radiant. They're coming down, but they're too late. And they don't have ultimates as well to try and look for a turn. They can just stay here. Why not? You know, you've got everyone here. Keep all of those TPs available. Healing ward available. All ultimates ready, except for uh, the Mortimer's Kisses by the time the team fight breaks out. The uh, Soulbind will be available as well. Mizu? Come on, they're keen to fight. Hood popped. Alacrity once again, a great coil silence, Earth back from Yokem. It's on multiple heroes, but the damage is non-existent at the moment without the ultimates and without a farmed Luna. He's going to try and dive deep out of the town. Look at the Maelstrom Inkswell oh, stun nice. combo. That's beautiful. Again, it's on three from the Lion, but it will not matter. We're seeing some incredible stuns. Using the stun ray. In order for Galaxy Race to be able to bring this back. I say bring it back. It's only a 1k net worth lead, but... Things should Bingo. be going Big even one. more in their face. Double yours after the soul bind gives mid one some space to be able to get the healing ward along with the blade fury and they turn. It brings down Yokem. Miz is still in the back line. Ravage is available here. They need to get rid of the healing ward and they'll do just that. Now with the Ravage going to get popped. They know the Blade Fury's on, on cooldown for a couple extra seconds. Mid one needs help and he needs it now, but can he get back to safety? Inkswell gives him the movement speed. They're going to try and drop the Eclipse the Coil once again on multiple heroes from Alacrity. They're going to go back in on mid one. It's a Blade Fury damage going to be enough to be able to turn at mid one. Hit you taking up the right clicks. Blink on four. They even drop the Supernova. But nonetheless, Galaxy Racer take a great team fight. Throughout all these team fights, Alacrity, we saw a not so great performance on his puck the other day. This time around, multi-man dream calls every single time. 
Go again. Great Hex stops the Remnant. They still get the Rupture out nonetheless. They're going to try and look to turn. A little bit of life still coming through from the Mask of Madness. Sunray as well in your dream. Fighting conditions at the moment. They even get the Fire Spirit, so they can't man fight in your dream. He just sticks his ground like a Luna is supposed to do. And there's no extra follow-up. But Great Silence on top of the back line prevents the Grimstroke Void Spirit from being able to counter-initiate here. Now with the Omnisive dropped as well, but Mizu's taking up all the damage. The Hood's going to get popped. Where's the control coming through and where's the damage? Mid one. That's provided thanks to Blade Fury. Once again, Yokam, a double Earth Spike. They'll get the kill. Even just that improved Mantis style. Are they going to be able to catch out in your dream as he's farming in this mid lane? No, they're caught on the other side. Healing was back available. This is such a big team fight for the context of the game. Lion, caught, coil, rabbit, dropped as well. Oh, man. Eclipse, Supernova, all oh, the ultimates getting used here, but they've only found one. They'll disengage from the egg. Now this could be a bit of a window here from Dyer. They've got the Omni Slash, but on the front lines are food. Cookie, if you need to get better positioning, Omni Slash Mizu solely tanking along with the Roshan now as well. He's got the Sunray here as Jokan blinking once again with the Earthspike controlling up bid one. They'll bring him down. And the rest of SMG, they can't control the pit. As In Your Dream stains his ground with a rough shot, kills off Roshan, but they're still hunting on Alacrity and Mizu. They'll kill off Roji. They'll kill off Arfu, four down on SMG. And you just said that is a big fight. You see that. Uh, how Radiant feel heading into a team fight with the, all their ultimates is so completely different than when they don't have those ulties. Polo? Gotta be careful, Polo. It's okay at the moment. Kisses should claim the life. Cole dropped on all three. Now with the BKB, means that the Luna is just freely able to right click mid. One cookie back to safety is actually going to try and look to turn to bring down Yokam. But you still got to be careful because In Your Dream's in fine condition and mid one is not. It's going to try and run down to the southern side, but Radiant, they got the Observer Ward at the moment, so they scout out SMG's positioning. Roji, Cookie, oh. further to the northern side, well, Alacrity, prime position to be able to close the distance, kill off the Grimstroke. It is a two for two as Galaxy lose both their supports. Sit there. Pop Not a choke of man. It would be big if they caught out the supports. Killing what dropped instantly. Vision so important in a fight like this around a choke point. Double rupture. Double rupture. One of the kisses so far on the back line. They got the sunbreak right here. Instantly gonna get silence off. Thanks to the blood right position. Mizu needs to drop the ravage. Gonna be able to do so. It actually clips on mid one. He needs help. The silence gonna be coming out as well with the supernova drop. Ready. They're pushing back Dyer. Can they kill off the egg? They can't. Dagon brings him down. It's a one for one to start, but a lot of ultimates use. Mid one push away. Finger of death. He needs help. Blade Fury blink on forward. Alacrity. Is it right clicks enough? Mid one is trying to juke and drive. He can't. Mid one will fall. Link dagger available in Yokem. They're trying to get a pick off on the back lines, but a good observer ward here on the high ground is going to catch out Polo as he goes in forward. Jump on forward. Triple silence as well with a cookie fall. That's a great start from Diver. Can they bring him down before the ultimates are going to be able to come through? The look to turn with the blood right out. The damage is too much for them to handle. The buybacks, it's not enough. They'll try and rejoin the fight, but mid one and co will stand strong in this team fight. On the sash out in your dream, going to have to beat it, beat a TP. He'll make it. But what an incredible fight from SMG. Like uh, Galaxy Reese, they kind of realize this. They're like, you know what? There's a reason they're not going into Roche. They've got a lot of kill potential onto it with all their minus armor. So let's try and Sans push the advantage. The as well. Void Spirit going to get back to safety. Great timing of the Ravage Supernova. Egg on the high ground as well. They've stunned up the snap fights. The little shred is not enough. What's KP doing up there? Oh, Bloodseeker, that's not where you want to be. He'll spy the legs down. They're going to buy back on Nia, rate it. They have used a lot of ultimates. Another one's going to come through with the finger of death. But SMG, do you want to force this fight knowing that all the ultimates were used? You can potentially buy back on Arfu. Mid one Not still has Omni. Enough. They're going to do it. But Roche is falling low. You've got to get in the area. About a third health pool still remaining. Just simply in and out. Mid one trying to man fight. He's standing his ground. But Luna has got Satanic. So In Your Dream doesn't care. And now means that mid one's he's away for the rest of the team. That's gonna be a dieback for Nia. Or a great cookie stump, but where's the help? Mid one finally gonna come through with the Omni Slash. They're all grouped up at the moment. Look how full they're low. In your dream, BKB Pop still looking to try and turn the satanic life still, it's not enough. In your dream. But try and do it all himself, but mid one, the lone survivor. They gone as well. They gone. Can he get it out fast enough? Mid one. Got a couple teammates still up on the high ground. Mizu. Sunray healing him up. In your dream, back up, ready to go as well. So They'll push him back. KP's movement speed. They'll bring him down with the Dagon. Mid one just scurrying away with his life. 
But a lot forced out there. You take a look at the buybacks. Oh my. You're totally fine with that on Galaxy Racer though. They knew they were in a more advantageous position once that Omni Slash was used. All the damage is gone basically. They go for the last Jeez. ditch effort to try and steal something away on mid one. Alack, really? He's got coil. Oh, they break it. Oh. It's, it's an Agatha's coil as well. Mid one. He's so slow right now. Look at the percent damage. Mid one's going to end up falling and mid one doesn't have a buyback. Get up, and, uh, this should be another victory for Galaxy Racer unless the team on SMG is able to make some magic happen. Well, they're about to have three heroes up, but... We've seen what a Luna can do when you get inside the base previously and just these objectives get ripped apart. Ancient exposed, you gotta go now if you're gonna do so, but great use of Alacrity's silence, just preventing them from jumping in. You're still gonna drop the rabbit and just try and look to turn. I mean, that's you. Your only hope. It's a celebratory ult is pop. Yeah. What a series from Galaxy Racer. That is a statement. 2-0ing SMG with a new roster. Yeah, for sure.